I'm Jeff Lakoven. I'm a chiropractor, a naturopathic physician, and an acupuncturist, and I practice in Kirkland, Washington. I'm Ben Wabker, and I'm a physical therapist, and I also practice in Kirkland, Washington. And we're going to talk to you today about backpack awareness. We've been working with the Kirkland Middle School Backpack Committee, and want to give you some tips. And one of the great things about working with Jeff and the Kirkland Medical School Backpack Committee is that we want to be able to bring some information to users out there on backpack adjustments, size, and then also some corrective exercises and stretches that we both feel are pertinent to a youngster's backpack health. Great. So this is what I would consider a good functional backpack. It's got some straps around the waist so you can fasten and take some stress off the spine there as well uh, on the big back as well. It's got some straps for securing. Um, one of the things you also want to consider with a backpack is if you're loading the sides with water for example on one side and don't have it on the other side there's going to be some potential asymmetrical stress that's worth considering. Um, but the thing about a backpack it can have all these features but if it doesn't fit correctly then it can be problematic. So let's have and uh, you can see just in this position here with it out fastened, he's going to want to slump forward and that posture is going to place a lot of strain on his spine and potentially uh, cause headaches and neck pain. Uh, he's compensating in order to, to adjust against the backpack. And his head moving forward, his shoulders are rounding and then over time that's going to cause a lot of fatigue in this area. This area. There will be a number of points here where he's tightening up. He's going to go around the chest here, around the waist, and along the sides here as well. Okay. You can see now with his posture is a lot straighter. His head's come back and there's less of a strain on his, uh, his spine here. 